Today's abridged scripture reading is from Daniel chapter 6, where we find King Darius's governmental leaders, threatened by Daniel's imminent promotion over them, seeking grounds on which to discredit him. Finding no corruption in him, they reasoned that they could destroy Daniel by trapping him between his God and the law of the land. They successfully convinced the king to declare that anyone who petitions any god or man other than the king for thirty days would be thrown into the lion's den. When, as expected, they found Daniel continuing to pray to the one true God, they said to the king in verse 13, Daniel pays no attention to you, O king, or to the injunction which you signed, but keeps offering his prayer three times a day. The king was deeply distressed and set his mind on delivering Daniel. Then these men came and said to the king, Recognize, O king, that it is a law of the Medes and Persians, that no injunction or statute which the king establishes may be changed. Then the king gave orders, and Daniel was brought in and thrown into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, Your God, whom you continually serve, will himself rescue you. Then the king got up at dawn and went in a hurry to the lion's den. He cried out with a troubled voice and said to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you continually serve, been able to rescue you from the lions? Then Daniel spoke to the king, My God sent his angel and shut the lions' mouths, and they have not harmed me since I was found innocent before him. And also toward you, O king, I have committed no crime. Then the king was very glad and gave orders for Daniel to be lifted up out of the den. So Daniel was lifted up out of the den, and no injury whatever was found on him because he had trusted in his God. Then Darius the king wrote to all the peoples, nations, and populations of all languages who were living in all the land. May your peace be great. I issue a decree that in all the realm of my kingdom, people are to tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and enduring forever, and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed and His dominion will be forever. He rescues, saves, and performs signs and miracles in heaven and on earth. He who has also rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. We live in a non-committal world where perseverance is all too rare. If a job is difficult or boring, people often think, why not find another one? Or when a marriage becomes unhappy, many wonder, should I be with someone else? Sadly, this mindset is also found among believers. At the first sign of conflict, some Christians hop to another church instead of working through difficulties with their local body of believers. And when it comes to our personal walk of faith, many of us who are believers struggle to maintain a consistent quiet time with the Lord. Daniel was a man of steadfast loyalty. Not even the awareness that he could be killed interfered with his practice of praying three times a day. Such commitment to the Lord was noted by others. Jealous officers and governors used Daniel's consistency to trap him. But the king made a remarkable statement. Your God, whom you constantly serve, will himself deliver you. Apparently, he believed Daniel's devotion would be the key to the young man's deliverance. Daniel's victory in the lion's den led to great influence as it inspired the king's decree to worship the Lord. Have you considered that the Lord was able to use him because of his unwavering worship and obedience? Imagine what God can do with you when you also commit yourself to him.